Hi everybody. So, sometimes we do this, people will call and ask about comparing different guitars. And uh, so we are including all of you in this. Ben, this is for you. There is two guitars here that have a single pickups and they're, they're both really cool. I have the single pickup 330. I've got a couple of these too. Now these are some of my favorite guitars. I love the fact that I can play these one pickup guitars on my lap. And all I need really is one pickup. So we'll do that in a different video. But Ben, for you, you were asking about this. This is a uh, 1965 Gibson SG. So here's something we cover all the time. I'm going to cover it again because that's what I do. There, 1965, early 65 is the exact same thing as a 64. Late 65 is not. So in Gibsons, there is three things. One is... The hardware went from nickel to chrome, okay? So nickel hardware is preferred, chrome hardware is less valuable. Then there's the headstock pitch, and you can maybe we can see it on here. These both have this steep headstock pitch that goes back, okay? And then the third thing that's very important in 65 is the big neck. In late 65, they slimmed the neck down of all the guitars. Now this was a feature that was traditionally on the L5s and the Super 400s. Their necks were slightly tapered. It was more hand carved. Back in the day, Gibson would have duplicating lathes. They would have a neck and they would carve necks and then go to a station for someone to finish it off. But somewhere in 65, they started advertising the new slim taper neck. And in retrospect, people tend to prefer the wider neck. This is 1 and 11 sixteenths wide. The later on, they were 9 sixteenths, 1 and 9 sixteenths. And that little bit makes a difference. By 68, they got pretty small. And then in 69, they got just bigger again. They just went a little too far. So you'll find late 60s guitars go for much less than early 60s Gibsons. This is an original finish Gibson SG Jr. You guys all recognize this, but this original white finish is something that has always been of interest even back in the day, even back in the early 70s, guys would look for the white SGs. They came at a premium. This guitar has chrome parts. Okay, so it's the one thing out of the three. And you have the headstock pitch that goes back and the bigger neck and that is preferred. But having the chrome parts makes this kind of a bargain. Now again, these single pickup guitars SGs is the availability of frets all the way up. Honestly, the double cutaway when it came out on the Strat was kind of a big deal. There were no guitars with double cutaway before the Strat, and it was quickly copied and adapted by Gibson with the SG, and the SG really made the availability of all the frets. SGs were famous for having tremolos. Why? Because Fender had a tremolo on most of their guitars. That, my friends, is a lot of fun. So, if you like Ben, are looking at these two guitars and thinking, what would make a better buy? Um, this guitar has its share of dings and scrapes. 
This guitar though is an original finished guitar and it has that big neck. And the 60s big neck is a little different than the 59. The 59 neck for a lot of Gibson enthusiasts is kind of the neck. It's got a little more depth this way. It feels a little bit less so this way. So it seems to have a little more depth on there. The 58s were bigger. The 59s came in, they had bigger frets in 59, and they had a slightly smaller neck that people find ideal. This 1959 Junior has a modification. We've described this on the back, Ben. I did a, or a video on this, but this has a pickup that is hum canceling. Hear that? So there's, you can hear, I'm gonna turn this up. And it is hum canceling. There is another dummy coil hidden back here. There is no routes to the guitar. Nothing has been cut, but this has been replaced and this dummy coil allows you to have that P90 sound with its clean bottom. Now with the hum, there's really not any difference. depth to these juniors they have a little more body and you're gonna hear a little more bass acoustically they're gonna ring a little better the SG's I don't know about better they're gonna ring a little louder the SG's with their thinner bodies tend to be a little more fender like in their detail where sometimes the bass response of this can get a little thick great if you're doing overdrive and guys like Keith Richards have done well with making these excellent single coil sounding clean sounding guitars the SG's tend to be on the upper mid-range and a little more clarity for an SG because of the depth of the bodies and so that's what you're hearing is a little more bass out of the SG or out of the junior Ben and I'm gonna play these one more time and try not to waste your time because I know everybody's trying to get back to all of the taking down the Christmas tree and stuff. with its gorgeous dings and scrapes, a little brighter. response on this is there but it's a little thinner you might say and it's got a little more brightness to it and you get a nice clean sound out of it and I might add the white looks cool all right all right there you go there is a couple of one pickup gems all right Ben